Hey guys, welcome to Roto Riot. Today, we're talking about FPV goggles. This is one of the most important pieces of gear. It's what you use to see from the perspective of your drone while you're flying. And it's something that when you're first getting into this, you should put a lot of thought into how much you're gonna spend and what you're gonna get. When I was first getting into FPV, didn't feel like I had a lot of options that I was really excited about. You know, I thought I wanted fat sharks because that's, that's what everyone seemed to fly, but the fat sharks out there were either really expensive, or the, you know, the, the more affordable ones weren't all that good. And either way, when you get fat sharks, I'm like, you have to get a module to put into it, and there's like dip switches, and it, it just seemed like it wasn't gonna be easy to figure out. I was really overwhelmed. Today, I'm psyched because Fat Shark is coming out with some new options that are more budget friendly, and I think less intimidating user experience for the newcomer to the hobby. I think this is gonna help a lot of people get into this. So they've got the V3 Recon, which is kind of a bare essentials box goggle at a really awesome price. They're coming out with the all new Scout, which is a premium box goggle. It's pretty cool. And then they've got the V5 Attitude, and that's where you're getting some more of the Dominator, this, this slim style goggles. But like I said, it's at a more approachable price comes with modules pre-installed. All of these options are gonna be a lot more approachable to newcomers to the hobby. Problem is, I'm spoiled. I'm flying one of the most premium things you can get and it's got ultra high performance. I feel like I've kinda, at this point, lost my ability to really appreciate these types of offerings. So we're gonna bring in my good friend, Paul. He has been flying it's kind of like an off-brand box goggle for a while now, and he's looking to upgrade. So we're gonna have him over here, we're gonna show him these new goggle options, see what he thinks of them, see what he likes best, and get a really good perspective on these new Fat Shark goggles. So these are your FPV goggles? The very first pair I've ever had, and I still use them. But you told me you were thinking about upgrading. Absolutely. So why? That, like, what, why aren't you loving about this? It's not that I'm not loving it. Mm -hmm. um, as I am getting a little bit better at flying, I want to kind of give myself an edge. Um, those aren't the best to pack in a bag. I have to A, unscrew the antenna, it doesn't fold. B, I got to push it in the bag all the way in, and so it kind of like cramps my style. It's it's huge. Has the actual view. View. Like, I love it. I, I chose 16.9. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm an artist, so I'm kind of worried about having some screens like burning into my eyes and looking through some lens. Wait, so you're scared of like the, the smaller goggles? Yeah, I'm afraid that I'm going to give my, myself like eye damage, right? So if you had perfect vision and you wore a set of prescription glasses that weren't yours, they, you, it kind of hurts your eye. There's right. A, and so half the reason I haven't gone to the, you know, Fat shark style goggle is because of that focus. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it. That uh, so it, you might still want a box goggle. Correct, and that's why I still okay. fly this, right? So yeah. I haven't found a contender that blows me away so much because these are really immersive. Well, maybe I'll decide to stay with these. But today I want to show you three new options Ooh. from Fat Shark: two box goggles and a Dominator style goggle, right? Maybe you want to switch to this, maybe you want to stay with one of the box, but let's just walk through. I didn't know they even made box goggles. Yeah, no, Fat Shark has been making box goggles for a little while now. They had the Transformer, and then they've had the Recon for a while. So this is actually a new version of the Recon. We'll start there. This is an $89 goggle, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, was like because mine. it's like, so yours was about $80, $70, something yeah. like that. It has an 18650. And on top, you've got brightness and contrast settings change your channels, and I believe it does have DVR built in, this new version. Yeah, you put you put your SD card right there, and you can actually record. Can you do DVR on yours? Mine I had to modify. I did some screwy mod online where I took an Isheen DVR recorder and literally put it in the shell itself. Oh, so, shoot, you had to like do Yeah, total, surgery. yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise it, and it didn't work out for me, so. Gotcha, well here's, this one has an out of the box. This is another 16 by nine. The lens seems very clear. We should fly it, where's your, where's your little whoop? You should fly that thing. Let's do it. All right, Fat Sharks, number one. Woo! These are definitely super clear. Yeah? I would say they're definitely probably better than the ones I have so far. Yeah, so this just has a built-in receiver. So I'm gonna so, go downstairs. And we just got a linear antenna on there. Now we're gonna see what kind of range we're getting. All right, so so far, still getting video. I'm getting all the way into the back of the studio. Wait, you're back in the warehouse? All the way in the very, very back. Oh, damn. So on my set, the white in the fluorescent bulb would kind of- You're hitting gates? Was kind of hiding. Can you make it back up? Yeah. Nice. Oh boy. Oh! Almost had the table landing. 
tried, almost. I tried. Yeah, I think the image looks pretty good too. Yeah. But I'd call this pretty bare bones. What do you think of it though? You know, in, in terms of bare bones or not, I would say it's probably not, you know. Um, has a DVR, mm -hmm. the image quality is good, everything's built into it, so you don't need a module or anything like that. So in, in relation to mine, I think the form factor is a little bit tighter and smaller. The, the picture is good, and you get the DVR without having to hack it up. So I'd say. So yeah. how do you feel about modules? How do you feel? It seems like you kind of don't want to mess with plug-in modules. So do you like that the receiver is built in, or would you rather be able to change the receiver? Well, so for me, in, in my stage, you know, I knew I was a beginner, so I didn't want to do a heavy investment in goggles and find uh -huh. out, hey, I don't like this, or I only fly, you know, once every few months. But gotcha. You know, if you get into it, like I think most people will, you'll realize very quickly that mm -hmm. goggles are something you're using all the time, charging, recharge. You're always using the goggles, no matter if you're flying your Whoop, your five inch, whatever it is. Yeah. For me, I was pleasantly surprised to know that my base, you know, regular goggles were, you know, meeting my needs. I'm like, why, why, why would I pay 700 bucks for something when I already? All right, so, so you, right now you're using just an Ishin goggle that you got online two years ago. When I first started. It's getting the job done. Do you, would you consider this an upgrade? Would you even bother switching to this or is this? I feel like that's almost on par, you know, with okay. what I got, except for the DVR works. And I think the picture is great. If I was buying them to begin with again today, uh -huh. I would definitely consider that against against the options. Okay, sure. but you, so it's not really an upgrade. So it's a great, this is probably something if you're just getting into FPV. At the price you point. Want, yeah, because it's $89, Dude, right? for the price point, for the brand. All right, so that's pretty good. I love it, I think it's a solid product, man. All right, so about $90 for the Recon. This is an all new thing. Fat Shark Scout, this is a new Boss Goggle, and it's supposed to be kind of like a step up. Okay. So this is $200, like $199. Diversity? It is diversity. Oh, you get a case and everything. I didn't know that. Bonus points. I don't think you get the case. You know, you don't get a case with the recons. It's like the, the same size. Look at that. It is practical. It's just about the same size. Battery on top. Little nose piece here. If you're, you can stick it. I would have never. I was like, what is that? The Batman you can stick, symbol. You can stick. You can stick this little piece of foam on the nose to customize your comfortability. But anyways, so we just screwed on one antenna. But you did ask if this was diversity, and it is. Okay, you got me. How does that work? I don't know. There's a patch antenna inside what? the plastic right here. That's wild. That's pretty sweet. What I don't like about it is that you can't change it. So you're basically stuck with a built-in patch and then whatever you screw on top, probably gonna be an Omni. But as far as keeping the form factor Dude. down, that's pretty sweet, Dude, right? super sweet. And you know what? Dude, it totally uh, does have audio. a fan. Do you hear uh, it? No, listen, the fan's going. It does have a fan. It does have a fan. Do your, do your box goggles ever fog up? Yes. Okay, so that's kind of nice. I didn't know this had a fan in it. Oh, wow, this one actually has an on-screen display, kind of. So, like, the goggle itself tells you what channel you're on, and then also, if you look in the upper corner, it says recording, so you can see it. Oh, awesome. The Recon doesn't have any ports, but I'm looking here on the side of your goggles, there's a headphone out, so you will get audio out if you want, and then it also has AV in, so you can use an external ground station with that. All right, I'm gonna give this a whirl. Woo! He's up, he's down, he's down. Whoa! No, I got Not this. Again. Yeah. Uh, let me get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Dude, of course, because I'm on camera, I gotta goof it. <laughs> <laughs> so far, the picture is definitely better. The other one was blipping. I was getting a little more snow. Well, you've got a mushroom on this, or uh, you've got an actual right-hand polarized antenna, which is really gonna help with the noise reduction compared to linear that you were flying before. You definitely know? way smoother and clearer. Actually, and you know what? If you if you turn this way, then you can kind of point the patch toward where, <laughs> where you're actually flying. <laughs> oh, because the face, wherever, whatever yeah, your face is at, that, okay, that right. makes perfect. Okay, that's cool. I would probably say it's definitely worth, you know. Double the, the price? Is I think it worth so. double? You double so. the price, but you're still in a box goggle. But I guess I you, get it, but if you want box goggles, right? Like you uh -huh. want to get your form factor, you want to make sure the screen's good, and diversity is definitely a plus. And so when I bought mine, there weren't many diversity box goggles. Right. If any. And uh, that didn't have like some sort of patch hacked into it. But um, you know, for me, I would be looking for the best form factor because I like the screen. Mm -hmm. So this 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 is, this is pretty sweet. I like this. That's my battery telling me to come back upstairs. Bring it back. I am, I got Bring it. it back. Are you gonna make it before the battery runs out? Ah! Oh. All right, which, which would you choose? No question, hands Definitely down. Definitely the scout. Absolutely. Because so I think this is more uh, of an upgrade over the, the, the basic the e thing that you're using, right? Sure. Um, I just think that, you know, the beginner is gonna say, hey, look, I have X amount of budget. Mm -hmm. 200 would be a stretch, but it'd be worth it if it had certain features. Diversity is definitely one of them. Well, and the ability to plug in other stuff. So 
I think it's awesome that there's a $90 goggle from one of the top brands in FPV. I think that's really great. But I can't see you getting yeah. goggle shamed in those either. You know what I'm saying? Like some people will try to like punk me on the... Uh, um, don't listen to them. You fly whatever. No, no, I don't. I trust me. I'm not worried about it. But this, you know, like you got a good brand. The size is there. DVR. Uh, the screen looks good. And so for the but, money. But you're stuck with non-diversity. But you could change that to a Pagoda, yeah, you, right? Well, you, you can change the antenna. Right. But you're never going to get diversity. True. It's always just going to be one antenna. You can't plug in a ground station. So if you go to a race or something like that, where right. they've got all the clear views set up that you might want to use for the race, you're not going to be able to use that. It will help a lot of people get into the hobby. But if you are a more sure that you're going to stick around for a bit. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I have the money. So somebody like me could say, mm -hmm. hey, look, it's it's twice as much, but will I get twice the value out of it? Right. I don't know if a pound for pound I get twice the value, but for me, the additional diversity is is obvious and the smaller size, mm -hmm. despite still being a goggle. The, the size is nice. I'd say that's comparable to a fat shark. You get a case and everything. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I agree. So, so, so I like form factor. Um, they really... So you, wait, when you say compare, you mean comparable to like a... To so a, like a dominator. Correct, so exactly. Like, that's right. that's getting close there. I didn't actually, when I invited you here, I didn't know that you preferred box goggles. I assumed that eventually you wanted to upgrade to like the, the dominator. Well, I badly now. do. I mean, they look really sweet and like, you know, for all the wrong reasons, I like just because of vanity. Well, just yeah, maybe it looks better. Well, yeah, but also like you know, you look at any FPV video, everyone's chatting. They got their little goggles up, you know, and like you know, that's all good and fine. I can't, I can't rock that with the box goggle. I look like Darth Vader in the parking lot. It's kind of like a, an interesting thing. All right, we got one more goggle. I don't know if this is final production packaging or what. Oh, we're looking at some new stuff here. Attitude V5. So this is the fifth generation of the Attitude goggle. Were those the red ones? They were red before. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I like the green. You like the green? Oh, hell yeah. You know what Fat Shark calls like the little brother to the Dumb. HDO or the Dominator or whatever. So they actually do have an OLED screen in them. Oh no. The so this is like the HDOs, but the screen, the field of view isn't as big. So explain one thing for me now that okay. we're talking about that. Field of view, 42 degrees, 37 degrees. Am mm -hmm. I saying the right thing? Yeah, yeah. So field of view drew a line between the two corners and then brought it to your eye. What's that angle? So the bigger the number, the bigger the angle, the larger that screen is in your field of view. Okay. The screen, the box style goggles, they have like a single screen and then some sort of optical material that brings that screen into focus. Correct. So it's easier to get a larger field of view. Now with, the, with these style goggles, what you actually have is you have two very small screen units and then really high end, precision optics to bring these little things to basically magnify these tiny screens and bring them into focus. So you're not just like with the box style, you just have to bring one screen into focus, even though it's too close. Mm -hmm. Whereas these, you actually have to magnify it. I mean, the pixels on these things are like, maybe that's why I have a hard time with them, you know? So that's why these are always end up being a lot more expensive. So the two box goggles you looked at, they're, they're around like 50 degrees. I think one's 50, one's 55. The HDOs, like the super high end, like what I use, 40. that's this is 42. This is, I think, 32 or 36. Okay. This is in the 30, so it is smaller, but it is an actual OLED screen. I don't know, you don't get as much of that just like... Wash out. That wash out, that glare, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. So, so I'm a big fan of the OLED. So the fact that Fat Shark is bringing OLED to more entry level, and this is a $300 goggle. I was about to say, what, what's that send you back? So it's a $300 goggle. Looks like it doesn't come with batteries at all. It comes with the case, 18650 case. You get a mushroomy antenna here, put that on. That's cool. M most times mm -hmm. the base sharks don't come with antennas, right? Normally? Right. I'm and just asking. look at this. That's amazing on the, over on the other side for your diversity. So no mod or anything like that. Well, that's what's interesting. You can remove this module. You can open this door. And if you look really closely there, there's a ribbon cable mm. that they've run from the primary to the other side already. To the other side. So you can put a rapid fire in here. Um, it'll just be kind of weird because you'll unplug that ribbon cable, put your new module in there. And then have the two antennas off that side. And then side. you'll have two antennas on this side and this will essentially do nothing. Re redundant. So you just put a cap on it or something. So it is weird if you upgrade the receiver in this new attitude goggle, you're gonna end up with like a useless uh, SMA over on the other side. Bothers my OCD, but it doesn't really hurt anything other than that. But it, it's cool that out of the box, you get diversity. Yeah, well, I like that right away because most of those other fat sharks, you have to literally buy a module and antennas at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like that. So no on-screen display with this, right? With this gout, it'll tell you right in the goggle menu 
battery um, channel. Right, what channel you're on. So you don't even have to take the goggle on. You can off. You can change the channel. And this, you're gonna have to take it off to use it. So you have to look at the outside screen if you wanna. Oh gosh, I don't know. Not as intuitive. If I had these for whatever reason, I'd go straight rapid fire. I love my rapid fire, and that'll actually give you your on-screen display. So if you get these, you can upgrade it to a module later on. Let's plug in your plug in your drone so you get an actual video. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest too, because yeah. I've stayed away from these for a reason. So let's see if can I focus. So right now I still got two screens like I normally do. But yeah, if you get the bottom of the goggles, you okay. can adjust the distance between this two screens. That's the IPD, the interpupillary distance. So, Nailed it. Okay, now it's slowly getting there. Maybe I gotta. So you just don't feel like, yeah, so then. I can't get it to snap too. If you can get it to focus, then you're gonna need like to put some diopter inserts or something. But I have perfect vision, which is the crazy thing, you know, 2020. You ever seen mall rats where they're staring at that weird poster and he's like, oh, it's a schooner. He's like, no, it's a sailboat. Like I have to do that. So what I'm doing physically is like opening my eyes uh -huh. and trying to focus on the center of the screen. That's so, not, can you fly with this? Well, yeah, well now I'm locked in. So now I don't see okay, two. Okay, don't move, here. We gotta, gotta right. test flat. Let, me, right. let me put plug in your lanyard and everything. All Let's. Right. See, now this to me, and maybe it could be, see, that sounds like something's dragging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got something to drop. You want me to get it? No. Nope. Sound like you fixed whatever was rubbing, though. I'm sending. Yeah, yeah, whatever was touching, I made no sure I knocked. Detroit adjustment. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, like, what's going on here, Drew, is, like, I'm not focusing them in right or some, or maybe that, what do you call it, pupillary... Mm -hmm. something thing. I think that's my problem is, is I haven't been able to dial that in. Uh -huh. In terms of the screen, when you were talking about, you know, darkness or whatever, the blacks are definitely blacker. Like, there's no question there. But... Hey, wait, set this thing down. I, I yeah. gotta try this. I yeah. gotta try these, these, these OLEDs. Yeah, I'm like, I'm a little disoriented right now, just taking them off, like my eyes coming back too. So is that sharp and in focus to you? Yeah, it works for me, man. God, I think it's like, maybe it's my eyesight or something, you know? But you know what gets me is the field of view is too small for my liking. I will say that the the Scout and the Recon being 50 degrees, I don't like that. That's kind of like the Dominator V2 that some people really fawn over because of that giant 50 degree field of view. Right. My favorite is my HDOs. Those have 42, which I think is the sweet spot. This is like 30 something and I think it's a little too small. And I think the, uh, the 50 is a little bit too big, so the the HDO is my is my personal preference sweet spot. I could get used to this. But the screen quality, not the this, field of view, it's, it's the same as your HDO, would you say? Ah, uh, dude, I think it is. It, it's really nice. I think the HDO might be a little bit better. I don't know what it is that makes it better. But, uh, you know, I'll say this, aside from the, the better blacks of the OLED, the Scout and the Recon looked really good. They did, I, I was surprised, the screen looks Those great. Those have really nice resolution. They are LCD, not OLED. Um, but aside from that, the, oh, I crashed your ah. Oh wait, I landed right set up. And, are oh, we good, dog, we good. All right, all right. We good, this thing rips, by the way. Yeah, it's I told you, it's a Mobila, you flew it last time. Mobila is the bomb, the Woo. hype is real. When right, you're going you're down. Super low. Super Will you make low. it back? I can't make it, I killed nah. the bear. Die, but he made it up to the second platform for the record. Is there any science to dialing those optics in? You could be running into a couple of things. Because I want to love those, I really it do. Be, it could be, Whatever you, the geometry of your face, it's a gorgeous face. You look great, but maybe there's something See <laughs> about your face that's pushing the goggles a little too far away from your eyes so that you're having trouble focus. And though, even though you have, you know, 20, 20 vision, these have a specific focal, focal point. So if they're, if your nose or whatever pushes that away. It's never going to come pupil, into focus without. You're going to need inserts. Is that what a diopter is? A diopter insert is like a reading glass. Mm. It will either, you know, push or pull the focal point away from your eye. So if you're, if your face is pushing the goggle away so that it's not in that optimal focal point for, for, you know, the, your pupil, mm -hmm. then the diopter can bring it there. So you, you might just need a diopter and that's just because your face is the way it is. Again, great face. That's an odd. But thanks mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama love you. If you wanted to upgrade, well, would you even consider this an upgrade? Cause it's definitely it's not the same thing for me. It is, it's, it's practically right. the same thing I have in a cleaner, nicer package. So we'll just take it off the table. Your scout, you've got your attitude. Which would you pick? Honestly, today, right now, Drew, I would go with these. Okay. I want you to take this scout. Mm -hmm. I want you to get the down the stairs because you, you <laughs> it every time. So we're taking your favorite goggle. Okay. There is no no excuse That's for it. you to not be able to do it. And if you can make it down the stairs, uh -oh. I'll let you take these home.
Yes. Here, woo, All no, right. no excuses. All right, plug that thing All in. Right, we're in, we're good. All right. I'm going back up. Does that count? No, I mean, you gotta do it clean. You gotta climb back up. <laughs> you right. gotta do it clean. You can All do right. this. Fair enough. Oh, that was the authorized. Woo! Hey! Yeah, buddy! Nice, man. Nice. <laughs> Get the Woo! new spots. Before anyone else. Those are even not, Dude, not even out yet. I'm so fresh right now. Look at my drip. But these are yours, man. Thank you for Dude, helping us out you, today. Thank you, Come here! Yeah, man. From buddy. Thanks for coming in and uh, exploring these goggles with Dude, me, Dude, totally. I need, a, I need another perspective, because I'm the snob kebab. I'm like, HDOs are nothing. You got to help me see how to appreciate the other option, because this, this is pretty great. Bro, those are fire. And like, the other ones are more expensive, 100 bucks more, and they have the form factor I'm looking for, but I still chose those because that's how much I like You these. get way more features. Dude, so I'm telling you, those it's are double awesome. the price. It's $200, but you can plug in a ground station, get your headphones. It's, it's a good goggle, so you enjoy those. Dude, thank you, Drew. Thank course, you. Thanks, Thanks for Riot. Out. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. If you're getting into FPV and you're looking for your first set of goggles, I think any three of these are a good option and you can find them all in our store, rotoriot.com. Link in the description. Click all of the things and we'll see you next time. Peace.